Well, I kind of want to say that uh, God formed us with our faces and with our smiles and with the ability to uh, communicate in that manner. Representative Kerry Hanks from St. Anthony giving the old no government issued mask mandates another try. Speaking from the heart there, this time in the House State Affairs Committee, which gave the go ahead on this getting a hearing. The point is to prevent the state of Idaho, a county, a city, a school district, any of those, any government entity from issuing mask wearing requirements to preventing or slowing the spread to help prevent the slow or the spread, I should say, or the slowing of a disease. It's the exact same bill Hanks tried to get through last session, and it sailed through the House last year, but it died in the Senate Health and Welfare Committee. Speaking of demise, should be optional. We have that um, bodily autonomy and that right. Uh, if people were dying in the streets and we felt that a mask would change that, then I believe that we would wear them. If people were dying in the streets, literally collapsing on the sidewalk, I guess, is that now the pandemic point for preventative health measures? Well, no, people are not dying in the streets from COVID-19, but they are dying, some at home, most at the hospital, some even while waiting for admission to the hospital because there are so many COVID patients, there's not enough room in that hospital. And they are dying at alarming rates. 4,425 Idahoans to be exact, four more added today. More than the population of St. Anthony, Representative Hanks, your hometown. And maybe if people were dying in the streets and we felt a mask could change that, then I believe we would wear them, she said. Well, the Idaho Department of Welfare, the Centers for Disease Control, a vast majority of doctors not only feel like masks prevent the spread of COVID, they have lots of scientific evidence to back them up. Yet only a handful of government entities in Idaho ever had a mask mandate, and very few still do. Are masks the be-all, end-all when it comes to this pandemic? No, because after all, we are still in crisis standards of care for several of Idaho health districts. The House State Affairs Committee unanimously agreed to give Representative Hank's bill a hearing.